Some of you may have already seen these types of lights. Uh, you put uh, three double A's. I think it's either double A's or triple A's. We'll get in there and look. Um, but uh, I already did this project, so instead of just talking about it, I'm going to Tarantino this backwards and show you um, how I did this, uh, um, sort of. So first, first off, this has a micro USB charge circuit here for lithium ion. So I have a lithium ion battery in there and that works pretty bright and that works. So you can see that it's working. I won't let it leave the shot. Well, I won't have to pause this because it's going to end up being a really long video because screw driving. All right, so back side here. I'll get through this. Hold on. Okay, I have the um, screws all loose here. Move those aside. Now, let me warn you now, this is going to be ugly. All right, so this is a battery, out of, obviously out of an old cell phone. Not a smartphone, one of the older dumb phones, you could call it. But uh, I have this glued in so I can't take it out. But what I did was decided to cut out my long drawn out explanation of the wiring and just do a quick wiring diagram here. This is the, the light and uh, um, this would be the spot where the triple A's go. This would be the spring, so that's negative. And that's where it starts here. So it goes, um, this would go right to the light inside the electronics. That's how you figure out which ones you want to go off of. You want to go off this one and this one because it starts here. That's the negative. And then when it comes up here, you can see that these two are connected. There's a, a solid piece of metal that connects this and this, which just completes the positive to the negative, just like having three batteries in a row like that. Positive to, to negative, negative to positive in a series so this would be a series so it goes here here and then it comes down to this side and then it has the solid thing and then it goes up to here to the positive so positive on the battery to the negative and then the positive on this side to the negative and then the positive on this side to the negative so you wire from here to the negative on the um, charge controller and then the positive to the charge controller and then you take the battery and you wire you wire from the negative on the battery to this to the, to the negative here, and then the negative, the positive on the battery to the positive on the charge controller. So it's real simple. Um, you're basically going to be going from this to charge the battery, and then the the battery power is going to be going to to these spots, and it's just going to pick up from there and go to power the light as well. That's basically how it goes. Um, this would be uh, an exact perfect representation of that uh, micro USB port Pff, right there. Amazing. This, the battery, look, even says Samsung. Thanks for appreciating my incredibly colorful and amazing drawing. I had to break all this open to get the battery to fit in there because the first battery that I tried to use will fit right in here perfect. And it was one of these but from a different phone, but the battery was dead because it was so old. This one was was working, so I grab this then I had to chew all this out and all that so anyway that's how this works now no AAA batteries now I have the uh, lithium ion I'm not sure what the milliamp on this is it's probably less than a thousand or, or near a thousand milliamp I've had it on for maybe 25 minutes just letting it sit there on but um, I think it'll probably last hours you can still see that it works Oh, and let's do the charging here. That means it's charging. And when it changes over to either green or blue, I can't remember. This is a new charge circuit that I got from a friend of mine. He sent it to me because he bought these from, I think, China. And uh, they're really cheap. He's like, hey, you got to check them out. So he sent me one. I charged this up with the cover on and I felt I kept feeling it to make sure it wasn't heating up too much and it didn't heat up. It's not a real intense battery so it charges up sort of quick, maybe uh, 
two or three hours. This can also be solar charged. Take one of the five volt, uh, 500 um, milliamp uh, um, solar panels and then plug right into this and it will, uh, it will charge it up. I'll show a video on that um, maybe later on or maybe I'll add it to this one. Yeah, I'll do that. Okay, here we are outside and there's the light showing when it's charging. There's the solar panel and back up so you can see the whole setup here. I'm going to have to have that facing at the sun. Okay, so that was a slice in of, uh, of um, solar charging. There's the setup. I couldn't do everything with the holding the camera. Um, and that that would be an effective charge too. It's not it's not like, hey, the light came on. It doesn't mean that it's pushing it in hard enough to where it's going to accept any charge. So this this would definitely push a charge. But see the see the size. And the, this is a pretty big solar panel. I mean, you need this is only 500 milliamp. You can use this to charge an Android phone directly. I mean, most of them. The, some of the iPhones, you need to have a, a circuit or, or a specific um, way of wiring it with some resistors and stuff. But Okay, well, thank you for watching. Watch some of my other videos if you get a chance. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, like the video, and share the video. Thanks a lot. See you in the next one.